Hi, my name is Andrika and welcome to my channel. I tried the bentonite clay mask and I actually applied it to my hair. You can use it on your face as well, but in this video, I applied it to my hair. So you will see all the ingredients that I actually added to the bentonite clay to give it a little bit of a boost, to make it a little, little bit more manageable for my texture, for my hair. And also I believe it'll be beneficial for your hair as well. So if any of that interests you, please just keep on watching. This channel is about all natural hair care, skin care, beauty tips, tricks, and hacks. And also I do a little bit of music as well. Yes, I cover some songs from here from time to time. So if any of that interests you, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty y'all, so I'm all set up here. I have my glass bowl and a plastic spoon. When you're making this um, hair mask and you're using it on your hair or your skin, you don't wanna use any metals because it's going to activate the mask and you don't want that to happen until it's actually applied to your face or your hair. So make sure to use plastic, wood, something like that, just don't use metal. All right, so I have my water and my aloe vera. I'm gonna start off with the aloe vera juice. Pour that in there. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water, not too much. All right, next I'm going to start adding the bentonite clay mask, or the bentonite clay, I should say. I'm about to add teaspoons and just start to mix it in just start to mix it in although it's a little bit clumpy just continue to mix and it's gonna eventually soften up and become a little bit more of a paste like consistency so when you're applying this mask for yourself you pretty much can eyeball what you want how much you want to use for your hair everyone's hair has different lengths and different types of thickness different densities things like that so just do whatever's convenient for you, use whatever amount is best for you. And it's softening up, but it's still a bit runny. So I'm gonna add more powder or more clay um, powder and then just continue to mix until you get the consistency that you want alrighty I seem to like how this um, consistency is so next so next I will be adding grapeseed oil and I'm really just doing this tutorial for demonstrational purposes so I'm just going to add one tablespoon but usually I would add two and just continue to mix that in next I'm going to add almond sweet almond oil next I'm going to add sweet almond oil And I'm gonna add one teaspoon, but again, usually I would add two. Mix that in. I'll add a dash of vegetable glycerin. I'll add a dash of vegetable glycerin.
but usually I would add one teaspoon of that. Then I'll add some camellia oil, just a few drops. And lastly, I'll add tea tree oil. Just a few drops of this. I usually add 10, but for here, for now, I'll just add four. And see how it's getting a little bit more runny, a little bit more smooth. I'm actually okay with this, but if you wanted to thicken up the um, hair mask a little bit more, you can always add more bentonite clay powder alrighty y'all so I am back and as you can see the bentonite clay mask has already been applied to one side of my hair the other side it has not been quite applied to yet so I'm about to get started with that and I'm just gonna remove the clip from the back section of my hair and I'm gonna spritz it with some water and aloe vera juice you know how I love my water and my aloe vera juice I'm spritzing it just to make sure it's nice and damp and I have my gloves on just because I just didn't want to get the product all over my fingertips but yeah I'm just working the water and aloe vera juice through my hair and I am about to split my hair into a smaller section as you can see here I'm splitting it into a smaller section and there you have it Now I'm going to clip the rest of my hair up and out of the way and I am going to take some of the bentonite clay. Well, I'm just pressing it a little bit more and there you see I have a little bit of the bentonite clay hair mask and I'm just going to apply it from a root to tip. Working it in slowly going all the way down my hair strands. And I'm going to add a bit more to apply directly to my ends, as you can see here. And yeah, I'm just going to continue this process for the rest of my hair. Now next, I'm going to move on to the benefits of each and every ingredient that I added to this hair mask. The benefits of bentonite clay are as follows. Bentonite clay is a mud-like substance that's derived from volcanic ash. When applied to hair, it's said that bentonite clay can add deep moisture to the hair. It can condition hair, soften hair, and reduce frizz. Bentonite clay also encourages natural shine, curl definition, and hair growth. Bentonite clay works as a clarifier and a detoxifier because of its negative charge. The negative charge attracts the positive charged products that build up on the hair and scalp. It draws out product buildup, toxins, heavy metals, chemicals, and impurities like a magnet. You'll remove all impurities and build up out of your hair when you wash out the bentonite clay mask. Let's move on to the benefits of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is a lightweight oil that fights against flakes, dry scalp, and itchy scalp caused by eczema and similar conditions. Grapeseed oil contains vitamin E that strengthens the hair, stimulates hair growth, and retains hair length. It can also slow down the graying of your hair. Grapeseed oil adds shine and moisture to the scalp. It also can condition your hair and helps to fight frizz. Camellia oil can restore natural shine, soften hair, and it can help retain moisture. Camellia oil is said to form a barrier against environmental pollutants. It can restore breakage and split ends, relieve itchy dry scalp, and it can prevent dandruff. Camellia oil can also treat damaged hair caused by chemicals from relaxers and hair coloring. 
Let's talk about the benefits of sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is a very hydrating and nourishing oil that adds moisture to the hair and scalp. It's rich in nutrients such as vitamin E, vitamin A, omega-3 fatty acids, and zinc. Sweet almond oil re reduces breakage, split ends, and soothes itchy dry scalp. It softens and conditions hair, encourages hair growth, and it strengthens and repairs damaged hair. Glycerin is a natural carbohydrate that is extracted from vegetable oil. The natural properties of glycerin are similar to emollients, which soften and soothe dry, brittle hair. It also has strong humectant properties, which allow it to retain moisture. When applied directly to the scalp, vegetable glycerin seeps deeply into your scalp and softens hair. It reduces frizz and also encourages curl definition. Lastly, tea tree oil has antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory properties. It soothes wounds and skin irritation. It treats dandruff, conditions scalp, and can prevent hair loss. It also nourishes hair follicles and roots to promote stronger, thicker hair. Tea tree oil improves blood flow to the scalp, which also allows nutrients to enter the hair follicles and induce hair growth. It also balances the pH levels of the scalp. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, y'all. Let's get into this footage that I have right over here. This is actually after I washed the bentonite clay mask out. As you can see, my hair is curly. It's it's actually has more definition than I expected it to have. Um, it looks a little bit dry, but I did have a microfiber towel on my hair before I decided to take my camera phone and, um, you know, just kind of do a little bit of the, the raw footage of you seeing my hair. But you can see how defined the curls are and just how nice it looks freshly out of washing the bentonite clay mask out of my hair. Okay, so as I was rubbing and feeling the texture of my hair my hair felt extremely moisturized extremely soft I mean y'all it just has a great feeling to the hair after I applied that bentonite clay mask so yeah I just wanted to show you that footage so let's discuss what I thought overall about the bentonite clay hair mask Overall, I actually thought it was a really good clay mask. I will continue to apply this to my hair using the particular ingredients that I use because as you saw, it is for moisturizing the hair, um, hair growth, you know, it stimulates hair growth. Um, it has a lot of benefits in everything that I already discussed, um, which is why I added those particular ingredients to the clay mask because I did not want it to be super drying to my hair i did not want it to be super hard on my hair i've actually seen other people use the bentonite clay mask and they only used um the clay and the water or they used the clay and they used the apple cider vinegar and their hair was extremely hard when it dried and it was really really hard to wash out so i'm like okay there's a lot of benefits to this mask but when I use it for me, I'm going to add this, this, and that because I did not want my hair to be super hard. And even after I had it in my hair for 30 minutes, yeah, it dried a little bit, but it was not really, really hard to wash out. Actually, it was really easy to wash out. Um, and actually, I, I, I washed my hair, so my hair was already clean, but I know that you can um, apply this mask like before you actually wash your hair. So with all the buildup and products that you have on it, um, you are able to use it. But I just did it like I would normally apply my deep conditioner or my deep um, conditioning hair masks. I usually apply it after I wash my hair, so I, that's why I did it for the bentonite clay mask as well. But overall, I really, really liked using the mask um, I would highly recommend it, especially if you have low porosity hair um, to say I've been natural for so long I'm just kind of learning the porosity game and I've actually been educating myself a lot so be on the lookout for a footage about different types of hair porosity my porosity is actually low I have low hair I have low porosity hair um, so a video is gonna be coming for that soon so just be on the lookout 
um but yeah i would highly recommend this for people with natural hair to apply this because it is detoxifying it takes off the toxins it takes out all the buildup and everything that might be in your hair over the past few weeks or even from the last time you washed it it will be removed now i wouldn't recommend this mask every week i wouldn't recommend it you know i would say maybe try it once a month twice a month at most um when you're trying this mask because it can be a little bit drying depending on if you only stick to the clay and the water or the clay and the apple cider vinegar if you don't really add any oils or anything like that it can be really really drying on the hair and it could potentially damage the hair so i would not recommend that okay um but yeah that's all i have for y'all today so if you enjoyed this video if you want to see more content like this just don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and hit that like button and i will see you in the next one take care